For the past year, I've been using solar panels from Oops. I really like them, but wanted to try some more affordable panels. So I got a new 200 and 100 watt panel that are more in my price range. And honestly, so far I'm impressed. They look nice, they seem durable, and even have USB ports to charge your devices directly from the panel. And these solar panels come shipped to your door, ready to charge your devices as well. Inside the box, you have your solar panel, nicely wrapped in bubble wrap to help protect it during shipping. And then you have a bag containing a multi-connection cable, as well as a warranty. Then the solar panel itself has a zipper pocket. Open that up, and you can find your connection cables, as well as some USB ports. They have pretty decent fold-out legs, and a nice fabric cover. And then the 100 watt panel has all of the same things inside, just a smaller panel. They both have Velcro in the middle, holding them closed. So pull the panels apart and unfold it. Pull out the kickstands and angle it towards the sun. Now you can use it like this and plug in your devices directly. Or you can connect the cables together and find the plug that works with your power station. I plugged in the 200 watt panel into my power station and it said I was getting about 125 input watts. And it's a bit cloudy today, so we're getting what we're paying for there. Then I plugged in the 100 watt panel and I was getting 70 input watts. Not bad. Now that they're tested and working, I screwed the 200 watt panel down on the roof of the shed and ran the cable to my main power station. And it combined with my other panels are currently giving me about 400 input watts. I normally get about 250 to 300 input watts, so I was excited to see an improvement and can't wait for some sunny summer days to really test it. But so far, I've been really liking these panels, especially the little 100 watt one. I'm keeping this one portable and using it when I'm out on the farm. It's just so easy to set up and get some sun power, especially when you have a mini portable power station to hook up to. With that fabric cover, it looks really clean and not an eyesore, so I wouldn't mind keeping it in our car so we could be ready for any situation. Not to mention that multi-connection cable lets you plug into different types of power stations. It's easy to swap from one to the other. The kickstands do a good job of keeping it upright and I love that you can plug directly into it. I can't even do that on my expensive panels. The only downside I see, it really seems to be designed to be portable. It doesn't feel right keeping something with fabric out in the elements. My other panels have hard backs, so it seems more weather resistant. But for these, I think they're perfect for camping or on the go. But I'd be curious how the one that I mounted holds up over time. But overall, I'm really impressed, especially for the price. So if you're looking for an affordable and portable solar panel, this one might just be for you. Till next time. I'm off to go cook breakfast with the power of the sun. See ya.